Sweet Farm is a nonprofit organization dedicated to creating a compassionate and sustainable world. We're doing that through a combination of both agriculture programs and animal related programs. The reason we do both is because the impacts of industrialized farming have been profoundly negative. The amount of emissions related, of course, to meat production. Most people don't realize that the majority of their organic produce is actually fertilized using animal byproducts uh, that come out of the meat industry. To really drive systemic change, you need to address issues across the entire food system, whether or not you're directly consuming uh, meat and dairy yourself. When we started Sweet Farm, we focused really on creating these points of entry where we have people that come out because they're really tied to the animals, but they don't necessarily know about the agriculture side. In a similar fashion, we get people who come out because they want to get their hands in the soil or expose their kids to learning to grow vegetables. And then we have that captured audience that we can then introduce them to issues on the animal side as well. This person just yesterday told me that they actually gave up beef and dairy because they met Magnolia, a miniature cow that we have out here. So we have about 125 animals out here. The majority of them are chickens and waterfowl. All of the animals are rescues. They've come from everything from factory farms to live markets, rooster fighting, rescues, abandonment, abuse cases, FFA rescues, where kids and families raised the animals and then fell in love with them and realized that, hey, these animals are just like my dog or just like my cat. We see that over and over again. There's so many ways that people can help animals. Every single life is extremely important important. And then we also need to remember that we have to scale that impact all the way up through the food system to feed the 9.7 billion people that will be on the planet by 2050.